Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to announce that I received my first ever resin statue, and it is from one of my favorite anime of all time, Attack on Titan. And since this is my first statue, I will go into some of the details as far as my experience purchasing this statue. So stick around until the end if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about statue collecting. Uh, but for now, let's go straight into this unboxing. Uh, this is a huge box. I was hoping to share the scene back here between Levi and the Beast Titan. However, this box is so huge that it pretty much covers the whole TV. So that was kind of a fail, but I still have it in the background uh, just in case maybe later you, you might be able to get a little glimpse of it. But all right, since this came all the way from China, I wanted to share the whole unboxing process, including taking one box out of another box because there is another box inside of this bigger box. So let's get this open and see what the packaging looks like. this down a little bit so I can just pull this box out. Alright, I might need a little bit of help here, so I'm gonna go ask my wife who's in the other room to help me out for you. Alright, this didn't work out, so my wife's just gonna cut it open. Cut the cardboard box open. The outer cardboard box. All right guys, so here's the box that was inside. And to be honest, this is probably one of the best figure boxes that I have ever received so far. Um, I haven't even gone inside and I'm already happy with my purchase. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at each of the sides. Uh, so here's the front, it just says Levi with the Scouts logo. Going into the side, you just get a little glimpse of what's inside, so, uh, which to be honest is a little weird. It's just a huge side and just a little circle here with a little glimpse of the 3D maneuver gear. Going into the back, you get a nice, really nice image here of Levi. I guess this is when he was in his resin form before he was painted, but it does look really nice. The blood here on the eyes, really cool statue. And on the other side, it's just pretty much the same as the side we already saw. And then here is the top. I just wanted to show you guys each one of these sides. Um, I don't know what it says here, but this statue is from LC Studios. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but LC Studios put out an amazing line for these Attack on Titan statues. Um, I personally picked up Levi and Mikasa as those, as those two are my favorite characters. Um, I honestly, I wasn't a big fan of the Eden. Um, he, for some reason, I just didn't like the way his hair looked. He just looked a little bit weird to me. And the other thing that threw me off as well was how the Colossal Titan looks underneath him. I just think he looks a little bit off. Uh, so I decided to skip him. But aside from Eren, I think Levi and Mikasa are awesome statues. So yeah, I went ahead and picked those up. But now let's go ahead and get inside of this box. All right, so they do send you a little card. So that's what the statue is gonna look like. It looks beautiful. And then here's the back, just says LC Studios. And then inside we do have a styrofoam box. So let's get that out of there. I'm just gonna take off every single piece that you guys saw in the styrofoam one by one and pull it out and just start to assemble it for you guys and I'll make sure to point out anything that's worth noting so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the base all right and we're gonna be using this lazy Susan that I found in my kitchen because the one that I have the electronic one uh, I don't think it can support this weight because just this base alone it weighs a lot so so let's start off by showing you guys the bottom of the base so on the bottom, we just got Levi there. Um, I don't see an addition number, so I thought that would be here, but I guess that might be in a little plaque. 
uh, that they have somewhere else, but turning this over, and man, I am just speechless. This base looks so good. Uh, it looked good in BAM Collectibles unboxing. Just having it up close in person just looks 10 times better. I'm just so amazed by the amount of detail that they're able to put in the Beast Titan's face here. And I didn't realize that this is actually just seen accurate with what's going on in the background. Uh, you guys can see that Levi just slashed his eyes and he has his eyes slashed open right here as well. So that's pretty cool, Quite kind of a coincidence. I wasn't planning on this to kind of line up. Um, but yeah, we have Levi Ackerman, the name right here, looks really good. And then all of the smoke effects here in the background look awesome as well. But yeah, so far this statue is turning out to be really great. Um, but all right, let's move on to the next piece. All right, next up we got Levi's main body here. So the sculpt here looks really nice as well. And I love all of the blood splatter that's kind of splashing all over his, his body here. And then another thing that I think they did a great job on is with the 3D maneuver gear. Um, it almost feels like it's real metal, but I'm not too sure to be honest, uh, but it looks very nice. And then one thing that I did notice with mine was that this arm was a little loose and it is does in fact come out. It's not too bad. I think I can just glue that back on. I've already seen the type of glue that resin collectors kind of use, but for now, um, I think it should be fine. It, it should hold. I'm just going to glue it up later just for my sake. I would prefer that to be in there and not have to worry about the arm falling off or anything. But all right, this guy, he just goes in here. There's some holes for the foot and there is a steel rod that just kind of goes into place, which it's actually pretty hard to stick in. All right, it took some messing around with, but I was finally able to get his foot in there and now fits in there very nicely. All right, we got another smoke effect. This guy just sticks in over here. Then this is the last smoke piece. This one just sticks in here in the front. It is magnetized, so it kind of falls into place, which is pretty cool. All right, next up, we got these little packages here from the 3D Maneuver Gear. This is what holds the blades. Uh, and it does come with these extra little pieces. So wish me luck while I try to assemble this and hopefully I get it right. All right, so I wasn't sure where these things go, but my wife, she actually took it off, off screen and we've kind of figured out where it goes. And it actually goes on these, these ODM gears. So if we take these out, there is a little notch here, and these kind of just stick in there. And then I'm assuming they go this way. Let's find out if it'll go back in place going this way. All right, so not too sure what that is, but I'm gonna leave it that way because I don't know where else to put it. So let's put on the other one. All right, let's move on to the hands. All right, so the one thing that I wasn't a huge fan of when I was looking at the pictures for these was this blood that was on the blades. Uh, for some reason, it just didn't really look like blood to me. It just kind of looked like red slime or something. I don't even, I'm not too sure. But um, in person, it actually does look much nicer and I am really happy with it. So, um, so I'm glad that I still decided to pick this one up even though I wasn't a big fan of this blood in the first place. Uh, but another thing that looks really good are actually these blades. So it looks another, this is another one of those pieces that looks like it's made of real metal. So I'm not sure if it actually is, but definitely looks and kind of feels like it, but yeah, pretty cool. And we also got some blood there on his hand. So there's just blood everywhere on Levi, which is just the way I like him. So that just sticks in there. All right, next up we got this second hand with more of that blood effect. And this is a huge blood effect, but again, just looks much nicer in person. And this one also has a little bit of blood. So this one sticks right into here. And this is actually the arm that is a little bit broken. So I'm gonna take it off just to put the hand in there. 
and then this blood effect does attach to the back of this notch so there's a little notch in there and then there is a steel rod so that should just stick into place just like that and then we just got Levi's hand floating on there so uh, we can just stick that back into place and actually that feels really nice I actually don't think I'm gonna need to put super glue on this hand uh, just with the tension of the blood effect kind of holding the arm into place I think I don't ever have to worry about that coming off but I am still gonna buy that super glue just in case for future statues because I um, you never know there might be a statue that does come broken in the future hopefully not but just in case um, but all right I think that's it for the hands now let's move on to the face and we're almost done after that we just need to put the cape actually I misspoke I think we had to put the cape in first because then the head just kind of sits on top of the cape but this cape looks really nice just the way that it's flowing and then all of the holes here just kind of showing that he's been in battle and then we also got some blood and then the scouts logo here on the back looks really cool and then this guy we have a little notch here that just kind of sticks into the shoulder piece over here just like that and then lastly we just have two faces here so we have one without the blood and then one with blood there on the eyes you guys obviously know which one i'm gonna use definitely the one with the blood here uh, it just fits much better with the statue because there's already blood all over his body so yeah just makes sense to use this one and it just looks much nicer and his hair looks really good as well they really made his head sculpt look just like levi from the anime so yeah just stick this guy right into there oh wait i'm forgetting one thing his scarf how could i forget this i kind of put it to the side and i just kind of forgot about it but i just saw a few notches in there so yeah that's what this is for so let's put this into place first Oh, I almost forgot about these things too. So still need to put these on to the blade. So uh, this guy just sticks on to, this one probably goes on the other one. So we just stick that in there. And then this guy sticks to the top of this piece over here. And then this guy goes in like that and again this connects to the top of this piece over here all right so now Levi is complete but before we go into a figure showcase there is one last thing they added into the box which is this little coin right here uh, so they do add a lot of these sort of extras into your uh, statues whenever you order statues and they serve to show you the addition that you have in some cases other times I don't think they show you the the number that you got but in this case it does so I have Levi number 410 out of 600 so these figures are very limited there's only 600 ever made and yeah, it's a pretty cool coin that you can display next to the figure. Uh, in my case, I don't think I'm going to display this one next to the figure. I think I'm actually going to put my Colossal Edition manga sort of standing behind the figure. Um, but it's still pretty cool to have. Um, that way I know what number that I have. Um, but all right, now let's go into the figure showcase.
Alright guys, so if you guys couldn't tell, I'm in love with this statue. It's my favorite figure that I have so far, and I'm so glad that I got into statue collecting. I can't wait to pick up more of these because uh, just seeing these up close, they're just on a whole nother level, and I was so impressed by them. So yeah, really happy to continue collecting statues. And just to talk a little bit about my experience, as I did promise in the beginning of the video, I will keep it kind of short because I feel like this video has already gone on for a while, but Levi was actually my fourth statue that I ever pre-ordered on the Favor GK website. Uh, that's the website that I recommend to use um, for pre-ordering figures and buying statues. Uh, just because um, I, as I mentioned, I did get into statue collecting thanks to BAM Collectibles and he recommends Favor GK and since he's picked up so many statues from there, of course, I knew I could trust them. So that's why I decided to purchase from them. Um, I have purchased a few from other sites. So once I get those in, I will kind of share my experience between Favor GK and some of the other resellers. But yeah, with Favor GK, the way that they have it set up is you can either pay a deposit, which I did for this figure. The deposit for this one was $178.99. And with Favor GK, the first few days that a statue is on the website, you do get it for a discounted price. Um, so I ended up buying it as soon as I saw it on the site. So I did get it for a little bit of a discount. And the final, the full price for this figure that I paid was um, $475.99. So yeah, these, these things are not cheap, but they are very high quality. And in my opinion, they are definitely well worth it. So uh, yeah, not a cheap statue. Um, and then shipping also is pretty expensive for these. Um, I was a little bit, that was what I was most worried about was because I had no idea how much shipping was gonna be. And whenever I would ask someone about shipping, they just kind of always said, oh, you can message Favor GK for an accurate price. Or they just always set a, a range from like 100 to three to four to 500 which did kind of scare me. I wasn't sure how much this was gonna be, but um, for Levi, he ended up being $113.50 for shipping, which um, isn't too bad. I mean, it is pretty high, but this is a really heavy statue and you guys saw the box that it came in and you guys definitely wanna make sure that they are protected. So I guess they put it in those boxes and they just try to package it as well as possible because it is shipping overseas and you never know what could happen. So uh, I was actually expecting it to be higher. So I was kind of happy with the price that I paid for shipping for this one. Uh, so yeah, with shipping and for the price that I got this one, my final payment, uh, my final cost for this statue was $589.49. Uh, so yeah, do I think it's worth it? Yes, I definitely do. But you guys can be the judge for yourself. If you guys ever end up trying to get into this hobby, um, I'm, I'll try to be as transparent as possible for the future. I don't think I'll talk about prices too much because that's not the important thing and why I pick up these statues in the first place. I just thought for this first one, I'd share my experience and just be as transparent as I could about the cost and everything. But if you guys ever have any questions and need to know what something cost me for shipping or something, just feel free to ask me and I'll be transparent and let you guys know what everything cost. But, um, but yeah, one last thing I just wanted to touch on was the shipping itself. Uh, so for me, I got the invoice for shipping in March 1st and and this just arrived to me this week. So yeah, it took about two months to get to me and I'm not sure why, I mean, I did, there was a bit of messaging back and forth with Favor GK because they say that they had shipped it, uh, but I never saw any tracking number and they didn't send me the tracking number until like a month after I paid shipping. So I'm not too sure when exactly they actually shipped it out to me, but from when I paid the invoice to when I got it in my home, it did take two months. Uh, so yeah, expect long wait times even after you pay for the shipping uh, for these figures. But I finally got him and I'm really happy with him and I can't wait to get in Mikasa to display her next to Levi. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing. Let me know what you guys thought about the statue. Did you guys love it as much as I do? And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.